Hey guys, so I'm here today with my mother, my Hello. beautiful mother, and we are going on a bit of an adventure. I don't really know how it's going to go. It might be a total bust and I might not even show you this, but hopefully we will have some answers today. So we're actually going to Huvelton, which is a town nearby about an hour drive away where there are a lot of Amish people. Um, we have a lot of Amish people where we live too, but the reason we're going specifically to this town is because um, I'm looking into some doors, like front doors. So I've noticed that um, in our area, the Amish all have, um, or a lot of them have this, like I can see that it's a wooden door, but it's painted like a blue color, but they're like really nice wooden, solid wooden doors. And that's really what I want for my house. Um, I, I really would like a wooden door, but the doors that I've looked online that are like solid wood doors are very expensive like crazy expensive, especially with the side lights, which is what my front door has. And I would like to keep that because it adds more light. So my front door now, um, I know we've talked about that door some, um, but it doesn't have any light in it. It's just like a solid wood door. I mean, it's got lots of other flaws as well. Um, and that's why I'm not planning on keeping that door. But I really wanted to have like a, a window in the front door so that, just because I really love light. I want light, windows and light anywhere that I can have it. So that's why the windows, and I'll try to take a picture of one of the doors. Simple, it's solid and simple and right. very nice. Just yeah, it's just like a, a wood door with a mm -hmm. window. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just it seems well made from looking at it from the road. So anyway, we did a little bit of research, specifically not me, but <laughs> mom and dad did some research, thankfully. And um, we figured out where they were coming from. So at first we thought it was from a guy named Dennis. Then we thought it was where Dennis used to live. <laughs> and I don't know who Dennis is, but um, turns out with more research, it's actually Harvey. It's a man named Harvey. So we don't know where he lives exactly, but like address wise, but we have the address of Dan who lives next to him. So <laughs> we're going to Dan's address and then we're going to ask around and see if we can find where Harvey is. Maybe he has a sign, I don't know. But we did learn that, so I didn't even know, I knew that they came from Huvelton, these doors, but I didn't know if like Huvel, like they were made by someone in Huvelton or if that was just a store in Huvelton that they got the doors from somewhere else. Like I didn't know any information about it, but we did get news back that it is, they are made in Huvelton, according to our source from our Amish here. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> hopefully we can figure that out and maybe get somewhere door-wise today. Well, let's see if they have a door on the next one. We that just missed a door. Right there. No. We've got a camper. It's on this side of the road. Mm -hmm. Garlic. Hey customers, we moved. Please go to the next house. Thank you. Okay. So this must be Dan. Well, hopefully it's on the Let's just say mailbox. they definitely have one of those doors. Dan Shetler. Dan Shetler. Okay. Okay, That's let's see. Different. That's slightly different. make door 
stores. We went to the right place. And we were able to see some of the doors that he had that were all finished and everything. And they're just very, very nice quality doors. I don't know if you can see this house. Can you see this house? Oh, well, there's a screen door on it, but I'm thinking he made that door. So we were able to see some of the doors that he has made and he does make them custom. So basically I showed him some pictures of the doors that I was looking at and I can show you guys them also. But what I really like about these doors is that they actually go lower than the standard door in the glass. So they go down a little bit lower and have a little bit more glass. And I just think they're interesting in their looks. Um, so I showed him those pictures and he was like, oh yeah, yeah, I can do that. I'll just go down another row lower of the glass and blah, blah, blah. And so that was really great. And I wanted just the one square on the bottom instead of two, which was the standard that he usually did. And he was like, oh yeah, we can do that, no problem. And so he came up with a quote and I'm telling you, so I've been looking a lot at um, doors online and I think I told you that they're like stupid expensive. Um, but like, especially with the side lights, I mean, just insane. If you want a wood door, like one of the doors with side lights was like the nice ones that I was looking at. They were like $5,000 for the door with the side lights for one door, which is just insane. And I really, really wanted a wood door because I just think they look really classy. So I was like, oh, I don't know what to do, you know, because it tends to be a problem of mine that when I'm looking at things, you know, I'll be looking and I'll be like, oh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, oh, that's gorgeous. And then when I look at the price of the one that I think is gorgeous, it's like three or four times more expensive than all of the other ones. And um, that's a problem I have. So, yeah, but how great that she found a solution to have something with, that she wanted, but just, just not your conventional way of getting it done. Yes, exactly. Well, that's awesome. That's why when I saw those wood doors, I was like, I'm going to the Amish and seeing if I can find anything. So, moral of the story is, he gave me a price for, so what I'm doing is the front door with the two side lights and the door on the side, the one that goes right into the living room, which um, doesn't have the side lights. And the total price, you're not going to believe this guys. Drum roll please. The total price for both of those doors was what? $1,350? Yeah, something like that. $1,350 versus, I mean, I'm telling you, even just a nice wood door, they were running like, um, like probably still three or $4,000. Like it's this insane. Yeah. You do still have to get the handle to put in right. there. But you would have to with any of them. Right. Oh, door. those don't? That, I, no, I don't think they came with Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, not, at least not the side that I was looking on, which was beautiful. Plus, beautiful plus he was like, yeah, just if you bring the handle, I'll put it in. Yeah, because I would like one um, that's, I guess, like, a, I don't know if it would be, like, called a latch or whatever. Uh, there's, like, yeah, button that's the thumb handle. latch or something. Yeah, and that's what I'm looking for. Um, and he was like, well, if it's not a normal, you know, door handle size, he's like, just bring the thing to me and I'll put it right on and everything. So, just amazing. Uh, yep. Yeah can't speak highly enough of Harvey thus far. Of course, I haven't seen my actual finished door yet, but um, I saw some other ones that he had done. Also, he was so nice about um, letting her try out different kinds of um, Yeah, like I know he was really busy. Stain. stain. Yeah. Yeah, so, and that's also including finishing the door. Um, it was, I could either have it, just get it plain, and then I could paint it or stain it or whatever myself, um, or he could do it, and so I think in total the two doors was one twenty five. It, well, it was one fifty for the the big one and and seventy five for the small one. So mm -hmm. it was uh, two fifty two twenty five for um, him staining everything. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go with that because I knew that he would do a better job, and he's you know used to doing it and has all the right stuff, whatever. Um, so he showed us a few different. We looked at all the same colors and we put it on the wood and it's minwax yes uh -huh. and i know that these two stained colors are they look basically the same to me but we did decide to go with the one on the right anyway so if you're in the hubleton area and you need a nice wood door and then also he sprays it after yes he sprays it after with a clear coat uh -huh. 
there. What else was there about it? So the wood that it's made out of is actually called sassafras, mm -hmm. which was surprising because that's not a kind of wood we have around here. He said it was a southern wood, but he said that um, that's what they have for all of their doors and windows because they have to have wood on their doors and windows, um, all of the Amish in that group. Um, and so he said that it holds up against the weather really well. So. Yeah. And it's good to know that, you know, all of the Amish around here who all have this same kind, you know, so you know that it's good for this area. And right. Everything. So basically, um, we are going to run to Lowe's, I believe, and take a look at their door handles and see um, if we find anything that might be good that we can get and then at some point drop it off to Harvey so that he can put it on the door and make sure all the door, the holes are in the right place and everything before that. Guys, we're at Home Depot, or Lowe's. Um, look at this. Oh no, that's with the side lights, 552.37. See. But look at it, it's just, I just can't. This is what I'm looking at. So it's like a beautiful little push, push door thing here with the deadbolt. It's not exactly this one because the keyhole is a little bit different, I think, in this one. But I have two of them here. I think they're the same. I don't know why they're protecting one and not the other. But this is what I'm looking at. I think it'll look really nice. And I like that there's the um, handle on the inside versus the doorknob because it's just like a little easier if you're like holding a bunch of stuff just to kind of like push it down with your butt and then walk through. You know how that goes. So. That's what I'm thinking. It's really exciting. Hey friends, so we're back at the house and I just wanted to kind of end this video by taking a look at like what we have now so we can kind of better picture the new door situation. So this is the front door. It's kind of interesting. Like it's really, really deep um, on the outside here. I don't know, it'll just be really interesting to see the new door in this space, I think. I'm just really so excited for the more um, light coming through by having this big window here. I mean, that's going to make a huge difference because it really is kind of not a lot, li not a lot of light coming through. I mean, even before there was like contact paper on where the windows are. I mean, it's better than it was before, but it's definitely still not a lot of light. And when you're further away, like so, at this point, it's the door is white. Obviously it was green at some point, I think, but it really just kind of doesn't stand out like on the whole house. So I think that the wood colored door is gonna look so nice and it'll just be such like a statement piece. I'm super pumped to have the same door on the front and the side. That was one of the things that I thought like, that's just gonna be really nice. Just kind of like making a cohesive look from the outside to have the same door on both sides. And even, I mean, even this door, it's gonna have more light coming through because it's gonna be a, a bigger portion of a window. So one of the things that we're gonna do, which we've talked about before, is we're gonna be moving this door over a little bit so it gives more of a longer space. I, well, it'll make the laundry room and bathroom addition a little bit bigger and it also gives more of a blank space on the living room wall here, which is really important because on living room, in living rooms you need to have wall space so you can have like furniture against it or have, you know, your TV or pictures, whatever, on the wall. So that'll be really good. But this door is only 31 inches, um, which is actually quite small and a weird size because I think they're usually 32. But, so this is only 31 inches. And what I wanted to do with these doors is make them 36 inches because that is so much easier for getting furniture in and stuff. I mean, we do have the back door too, but that only is a slider, so it only goes one way. It's not like it opens that full length. Although that might be 36 inches. Either way, it's just easier to have bigger doors. So we're gonna do 36 inches, but it's gonna start from like here. So it's gonna be about yay big. It's kind of huge. It looks huge, but I mean, a lot of doors are 36 inches, that's normal. But that'll make it so much better for moving things in. But for the front door, the plan was also 36 inches. And this one is 34 inches. Okay, so the plan was originally 36 inches, but we, um, when we measured the space here, so right now the open space is 58 inches. 
but Jay was saying that we should be able to do 60 inches and that should be okay um, because it has to go between, you know, the posts and all that stuff. Yeah, this is the post right here. And then, and then this is the post. So that's how it was. And this, these ones are, oh, see, these ones are only like nine and a half inches side lights. So we were originally thinking 14 inches on the side lights <coughs> and a 36 inch door, too big. So then we went down to 12 inches on the side light. And with all of the framing and everything, what we ended up being able to fit was I believe a 34 inch door. So I think that'll be okay for this door because that door still is 36 and yeah, that'll be great. So he's making them with the lower window and on the bottom, instead of having like two things, he's going to do just one thing on the bottom. And the side lights are going to go down to wherever the glass stops, it's kind of same like this. They're going to go and just be on the sides. And I believe the way that we left it off is that there won't be these partition things, not the little squares in the side lights, just one big thing and the side light, which is, which is really good. But it was just really great like that he was willing to do whatever design I showed him and he drew up a little sketch and it was great. So I think that, I think windows and doors are like the most important things. So windows and doors and high ceilings, can't have high ceilings, but are like some of the things that just really, really make a house look nice in my opinion. So I'm really excited about these doors. I think that they're gonna just really elevate the look of it with the nice wood and the nice staining and I'm excited he's staining them I think I already told you that but yeah so overall I think it was a really successful trip to Hubleton and I'm super excited till uh, mid-June or sometime in June is when he thinks he'll be done with them so be on the lookout for that when the time comes I know I will be and I am sure you guys will be some of the first people to know when it happens so anyway, thank you for coming on this journey with me and my mom. We had a very nice time together and I really didn't know what to expect because I didn't know anything about anything going there. So it was definitely the best thing that I could have, you know, dreamed of for that specific situation. So wonderful, wonderful. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time as we continue the amazing work here at the house. Have a wonderful day.